Sports now, my page, Chuck Foreman. All right, we're going to continue to talk right. about Kirk Cousins as promised. I asked you during the break, and I'm right. going to ask you now. We all know the level that Kirk Cousins has played at the last right, couple of years. Right. You being a former player, mm -hmm. is it easy to just go replace a guy, t guy's talents like that in the draft via a young quarterback? No. It's not that easy. Pretty blunt, huh? And if you, yeah, I'm going to be very blunt to it. Yeah, I mean, some of the games, we had a couple this year that did real pretty. Of course, he was the last person. Then you look at uh, C.J. Stroud mm -hmm. out there in Houston. He did well this year because he had some other things in play. Offensive line play was really, really good out there. When you get a young guy, mm -hmm. you better have all the other pieces in play right? in order for him to be successful. If you don't, it's going to be a long time. Yeah, it is. And then you damage him because then he second guesses himself and all that kind of stuff. So everybody talks about, oh, he, you know, like Caleb Williams or whatever. Well, he's not going to be a savior in Chicago. Hmm. They already got the guy that they need. They just got to get an offense in there that's conducive to what he does well. Right. And so uh, the funny thing about our game, it's the ultimate team sport. Mm -hmm. And everything has to be in play for it to be successful. And then the types of guys you bring, you got to have the smart guys. You have to have the guys with a controlled attitude. Yep. In other words, be, uh, I guess the word they use, be dogs, but be, be <laughs> smart dogs. You know what I mean? Like when you got a dog that's aggressive, yeah. but you got to be able to tame them a little bit. I got you. But, you know, those are the types of, to me, personalities you got to have to be successful. You got to have a guy underneath the center. Uh, that's going to be smart, uh, catches on really quick. And so with, with the Vikings, you know, Kirk Cousins is the guy we need. All they need to do, uh, continue to do, is just improve up front. And then we got one of the greatest receivers you in do. the game right now. And may go down as the greatest receiver in Vikings history, as far as I'm Ooh, concerned. Good company there, too. Well, yeah, he's got some great company. But what I'm saying, he's uh, he's special. So whatever they need to pay him, they, you know, just... Going right to check. Well, you know, I sure hope that we haven't seen the last of Kirk Cousins in the purple right. and white, but I do want to talk about him dancing at the NFL <laughs> Awards show and showing off his newly repaired Achilles. You just said you didn't see this video. No, you didn't I, know he was going to be dancing. No. If you're on the team and you know your quarterback Taurus Achilles, what are you thinking when you watch this? I'm asking him what's wrong with me. <laughs> You know, so there must look. He's he's looking good. He is looking good. Yeah, he's so moving he, around. Yeah, yeah he's killing. moving pretty good. Got so a that, little bit that, of rhythm. That's a positive, but you know, I'm telling you, him, hey, what you, hey, no way. No way. <laughs> no way. Well, you know what? He said the goal for him is to be ready to go by OTAs or mini camp, and we still don't know who he's going to be playing with during that time. So a lot to be seen from now right. until the new league year begins in March. So, Chuck, thank, thank you for you taking for the time to come me. on. I yeah, appreciate it. I appreciate, it. appreciate it being here with you. Nice I'm thankful yeah. Jim was out, so I got to spend some time uh, well, yeah, with you. Yeah, it's good. It's a good thing. So. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you, Chuck. Thank uh -huh. you guys for joining in. And we